Hey everyone, hello hello, I see there's a few people already, how's everyone, good to see some people <laughs> already here, especially after being off for a few weeks, I'll just, I'm not too sure if the mic is working, mm -hmm. yep I think everything is working, good evening Dirk, how you doing? Good to see you back. Thanks for the support and coming and watching the the streams. Andres, how you doing? Good to see you back. Hope everybody is good. Here uh, we're having hot hot weather. I don't know. Here we're having a um, hot weather at the moment, kind of hot and heavy. It was raining the last few days. It was looking good, um, hoping the water would start to go a little bit cooler but uh, i don't think so i think uh, the forecast for this week and next week it's for more warm weather so that's why you're not seeing too many videos of of pike fishing at the moment from me because i'm just leaving them nice and quiet it's a little bit too warm for them i tried to go out for perch but the other evening but it was not that great just got a couple of small ones so yeah so everything is okay, I suppose we can start. Uh, I just wait that somebody gives me the thumbs up and we get going. Seems to be a good bit of delay today. Uh, I think I think we'll get started. Uh, I think the mic is working. I never know. Good evening, Doc. Good. Nice to see you. We'll start slowly. Uh, if you guys have any questions, um, fire away as usual. Uh, what did I wanted to talk to you about? Yes, I've been tying those ones. I think quite a few people. Thank you, Ministry. Yes, that's my <laughs> that's my guiding shirt. I kind of miss guiding at the moment, so. <laughs> so yeah i've been tying the back to the what i call we call, call them the chicken flies lots of feathers big bulky flies but fairly fairly light they're not they're not too heavy these ones um, articulated move a ton of water with a big puffy head uh, they fluctuate a lot there's a lot of bounce on them uh, so yeah i'll be doing those uh, next uh, next friday next friday stream so that's another one and uh, if you keep your eye on instagram there'll be a few more during the week being tied I kind of uh, starting to think for the back season here and uh, getting some bigger fish on the fly so thank you doc all loud and clear good to see dan how you doing good to see you back so yeah today we're going to tie uh, what we call them stealth fly so they are tied kind of sideways on the hook shank uh, we used to tie them on normal hook before but you were fishing uh, with the point down at all time so started tying them on bent hook with a little weight at the front just to make them ride hook up so the whole idea behind this fly is that they present their profile sideways so usually it's a fly that I like fishing above the fish so they have a lot of a lot of silhouette to to home into that's quite a wide fly compared to fishing it normal side you would fish it like that uh, there's not that much bulk compared to sideways like this so it's a nice big visual fly uh, the advantage of having it uh, hook up is that you can have it um, riding close to the bottom so especially if you fish i know some guys who use them for like halibut and fish like that and they make a, an imitation of a of a little place or a turbot or something like that or any kind of a flat fish bait fish for them they do they do work extremely well uh, i would definitely wouldn't tie them some on a hook like that uh, i tie them on many different types of hook 
as long as you get a nice uh, 60 degree bend or a 90 yeah 60 degrees usually it's the good one um, this is a three knot um, that would be the smaller that I tie here the advantage is it's not a huge fly uh, a perch can go after that so a uh, big trout and of course a pike so it's not too bad and uh, let me see what comments uh, Douglas how you doing from Calgary how you doing good to see you I'm glad you can join different feeling when we're all live <laughs> Uh, thanks for the comment Douglas my pleasure I enjoy it anyway so for this one um, the hook is a tree knot it's a TP650 bent streamer from Airx that's the one we use tonight um, if I would go heavier uh, partridge I can't find them I looked for them earlier <laughs> they're somewhere in my mess but partridge have a, a bent hook as well and it's it's really strong wire as well uh, like that one too so it's not too bad um, so we're going to tie it um, I had a little bit of weight at the front to make sure that the the hook does ride with the hook point up uh, I but I don't go too heavy um, what I don't want is to have too much action I'd like to keep that fly above the pike um, so not too much weight but enough for the hook to kind of sit properly even if you just get the sweet spot, it would start to have a little side effect like this and kind of give it a little bit of a bail flash. Sometimes it tries to roll uh, and it just goes back lower. So when you strip, sometimes it has a tendency to start rolling, which is a, a good thing. So don't worry if that happens. It doesn't have to be riding flat like this all the time. Uh, so if, it, if you get a bit of a roll, especially on the sharper strips, uh, it's, it's a good thing to have. It gives a different action to the fly, so it's not a bad thing. Um, so, yeah, I put a little dumbbells uh, underneath like this. I go for about, uh, these ones are five mil, so not, not too, too big. Enough to get a bit of a jigging action and keep that hook uh, rolling around a little bit. What are they, Barry Canton? How you doing? Good to see you. Excellent. So uh, tonight I'll tie a kind of a pimped up version of this ver this this fly. Uh, it's just I put a, an added rattle to it, and it's a very simple way to 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 put a, a rattle on it. I'll show you that right now. Thank you, Joseph. Yeah, TV. Uh, Definitely equals garbage, especially these days. I quit watching TV years ago and I'm feeling a better man for it. <laughs> so, hook on device. And uh, yeah, this is made mostly 99% with um, Congo hair. Works perfect. You can add as well at the back uh, another way you can have a variation of that fly. You can put a rabbit strip, you can put uh, a wiggle tail, you can put a wave tail. It's up to you what you want to put, but uh, you can change, uh, put anything that you want at the back as well. So for this time, I'm just going to do uh, purely um, Congo hair. So for the rattle on this, uh, I like using these. They're, they're quite, quite good little plastic rubber uh rattle holder you get that from uh, lure shops really good well, rattle gets damaged or pulled out uh, you just change it but they really st stick pretty well it's very rare it's usually the the pike teeth start wearing the rubber in the middle but it's quite a tough one so all you have to do is rip it off and uh, you can push another one through the the, the eye hook uh, for the first time putting this little rubber thing I like just to put a little bit of uh, tread just be a little bit a bit of a base so that it'll, it'll catch up really well on it we won't start moving around so we want it to have it that side okay so make sure you put it the right way at the beginning, I like not to 
force too much because the the hole in these little rubber things is quite small. It's a fairly small hole on it. So if you push it from the beginning through the eyelid, you might damage it a little bit. So uh, I like to just push it from the hook point. Uh, yes, I have considered articulation and that's the video that I made in the live stream with the uh, the kernel crisscross um, about the same thing and it's articulated as well, which is really, really good fly too. This is like a simpl simplified version if you want. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on that and I'm going to push our rubbery thing onto it. Good thing with this is that you are free to change your, your rattles as well. You don't have to use uh, the same rattle. So if you want something uh, less noisy, you go for the little one. So this is more for, for the weight. Uh, or you can go for a bigger one as well like this. So up to you. So that's extra weight and extra noise. So you can, you can change them if you want to tune them on the day. That's a possibility as well. Like, so that's all I do. I'm not going to put the rattle on now. I'll do it at the end. It'd be just easier to tie. So now the other thing I'm going to put, I'm going to put the dumbbell underneath. And we're ready to tie. Now it's a fairly easy fly to, to cast. It's not a very heavy fly. a fairly good fly to cast I like I like using them and they offer something completely different as well if you if you're looking for something something different to present to the fish you use that it's definitely something that they don't see every day I try the extra strength here i'm just going to put a little bit of uv resin just help it spread around a little bit that's it and just zap it Uh, how you doing, Stuart? Just reading your your uh, message there. Um, any difference in hookup rate with this type of, of fly? Um, no, just uh, just they are they are mostly uh, hooked on on the the, the roof of the mouth uh, and the corner. So I usually like to set the hook a little bit more with them because uh, uh, it, it is a lot more bony uh, on the rooftop. So you might have, if you don't really set the hook uh, hard, um, you might have some, some, some that might not hook up properly uh, just because they're hitting the, the, the rooftop of the mouth. So I've seen quite a few guys um, hitting these flies, fighting them, and as soon as the, the, the pike jump out of the water and shake the head, the fly come out. Uh, and that's just purely because the, the hook wasn't set, didn't go anywhere uh, around the jaw. Usually bounce off the, the teeth on the, on the roof of the mouth and, uh, and then that's it. Uh, so I most most of my fish, especially b big fish like small fish, I, I don't mind. I just like playing with them. Like um, I don't. But if I see that it is a big fish, I like to usually uh, hit the fish one more time, if not two more time, to be sure that the hook is properly secured in. 
uh, are rather the hook to pull on a on a strong uh, on a strong um, strip strip strike or strike uh, than after 10 minutes of fight and seeing that fish go so usually um, yeah but just to make sure on a big fish i like to to hit it uh, definitely a second time make sure that that hook is well in we only have one hook to set, uh, not like lure fishing where one might give away and the other one goes a little bit deeper. So trebles, uh, it's kind of hard to miss fish when you have trebles or even two or three trebles. But uh, fly fishermen, we only we're a little bit more sport. <laughs> we give a bit more chance to the fish, so we only have one more, only one uh, hook point to set and. Uh, so that's that's the only thing Stuart I would see with with this design is that you do hit the fly um, a little bit harder just to be sure. Yes, Douglas, I I I crush the barbs mostly most of the time, yes. The only time I don't crush the barbs is is when I forget I just get excited to get on the water and start fishing, but I usually not notice it after a couple of fish like when you take the hook out. Um it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It'll save your ass many times on the water if you have an accident and you're on your own. You are definitely happy to have no barb on your hook stick. So easy to remove a hook without a barb. It's painful, but it's not as painful as if you have a big barb on it. Especially big six knot hooks. They kill you to pull them out, these ones. So yeah, crush the barb. Good for the fish, good for the angler. Yes, Dirk, I'm happy you like the resin. That's that cheap eBay, Amazon resin. And it is, it is really good. Really good. Show it again. I have it in most of my streams and video. Um, I don't particularly go, particularly go for that brand. Uh, I just go for any brand that I find on, on Amazon and eBay. And at the beginning, like I said, when UV resin started coming out, there was some real crap out there. But they've, the quality has leveled up now and uh, all that you find are really, really good resin. There's no problem. And they are cheap, very cheap. Um, all right, I'm gonna build the tail. Congo hair. I'm gonna go for a white and a and a bronze back. I do. I really dig that that bronze back like that. A kind of a great for bream rod pattern. Really like that one. Yeah, definitely good for the guides too. <laughs> no problem, Stuart. You're welcome. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah, I have two jackets when I when I go fishing. I have my nice one when I go myself fishing, and I have the guiding jacket, which is one that I've seen a few punctures over the over the years. <laughs> so definitely, I don't bring my son the best when I guide, just to be safe. So that's basically one length of um, Congo hair. Snip right at the top. Um, I just, as usual, teased a little bit the fibers so I don't have any straight edge. So this one we're going to tie it 50-50, half and half like this. And we're going to start um, top of the hook and on the bottom of the hook. And the other one we're going to go side by side. So I'm going to spread those and pull them at the back, like so, and those ones, split them in half and we bring them on the net. Simple as Usually, if you if you do tease your fibers properly, uh, you would have very little uh, trimming to be done at the end. So we can add a little bit of flash now. It's nice just to have that little sparkle at the back. Nothing too mad, 
but the odd hit. Especially if you fish this fly is a little bit up in the water, it's a good thing to have a little bit of a little bit of sparkle like that. You can put any flash that you want. You don't have to get any. It doesn't have to be the one I'm using now. It wants to come out. On this, what do I have? Yeah, I like this one, the pearl, uh, pearl silver bait fish, the H two O Fly Tires Dungeon as well. Really, really nice. Nice hank, and I think they're like one dollar fifty or something like that on their web website. It's a nice mix. This one you get, you get a few, few silver strand and a few pearlescent ones mixed together. Definitely stuart. Oh. oh yeah, when you hear that noise. It's it's scary. <laughs> if that's the case, usually it's time to, to give the client a lesson in casting for a few minutes <laughs> if they start to fly too much too close to your head. <laughs> uh, all right now but the same amount where well, I don't go mad I don't take too much you see how much I have here not that much like it's very fairly airy stuff Congo hair a lot of crinkle in it but it's so fine that once it's gorged itself with water uh, you you have great movement out of it all right this one then we're gonna go side and side so half on the side up the top measure about your half and half like that roughly split it bring it over and then tie it on the other side Right, and basically we have our tail. Simple, nothing too difficult. Now we're going to start going and building the, the body now. So basically the body now is just layers of sad tying. So it's a little bit if you would, if you ever seen a tarpon toad, a really popular fly for fishing tarpons. So it's just on the side now that we're going to tie. You have crab pattern as well, tied like that. So on this now we're going to start alternating uh, one color on the belly and one on the top, just for the back. So I'm going to start full length, cut it in half. And we're going to work with halves. Half. Half. Now the weight will be for the belly. But it's not going to make much difference because the weight's going to ride, it's going to ride sideways. But I do like to make a contrast of colors between the back and the belly. Um, just to have a nice uh, darker back. Just uh, for the pike to have a good ID when it flutters like that, that it is a fish that's flying or swimming uh, sideways. So usually you get you get good good strikes like that. <laughs> Definitely, Douglas. Maybe in scary one of the GTR tarpon fishing in tropics. Yep. <laughs> So we're going to go right on the side of the hook. 
and then we're going to pull a bit and it's in a, it's about a 60 40 length okay i have a 60 and a 40. i'm going to tie this one here and then the same way we're going to tie the other one on the other side like this make sure you pinch properly those fibers when you wrap them around because if you don't you're gonna have the whole lot that's gonna start spinning and they're gonna mix after now for the moment I don't like to put any glue on that because I'm going to show you after you can tune a little bit by putting on the fibers if you want to create a little bit more bulk especially on the top you see on the top here there's 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 a nice cushioning there there's a nice bulk at the top compared to the bottom and if you see at the bottom we still see the thread showing and at the top is disappeared because we we brought the fibers back together just to give a bit more bulk on the top so that's what we can do here as the second half of color and same thing i'm gonna go on this one 50 50. and not to worry here if it's not too feathered uh, you haven't teased the fibers too much because from here we're going to start clipping the head so some of these fibers will go with a haircut I bring this back and we have another room for another one or two even same thing now you don't have to work with halves now you can because it's going to be really short just to bulk up the head so a little lens Cut it in three, you'll have plenty of fibers like this. Uh, yep. See not too not too long because they're gonna bulk up the head and we're gonna we're gonna trim them so no need to waste too much fibers. Same with the white. Cut it in three. Tie 50 50 here. Pinch it. Build the thread at the back. Let's secure that thing again. Put a bit more glue on it. And before I finish, I like to put a little bit of a of color into it to make the chicks kind of show. So you can go with punchy colors. Uh, this is the what is it the big game uh some kind like something like that big big gd uh aw represents something i can't remember but that's uh i think it's a fairly new kind of a predator dubbing that they do a uh, nice punchy orange like that or what i like to use a lot is um angelina fiber same thing you get that from the textile industry you get like big 10 gram pack like that for like two two euro or something like that so it's it's not bad at all so this one i don't know i fancy putting a little bit of both so we're gonna bo go with the first layer of the orange one so you see that's that's quite a long fiber so i'm going to cut it down because i don't want too long it's just to make a cheek on the That's about it. Happy with that. Don't want to make it too, too long. A 
that we're going to tie it just, just on the top here. The one in the bottom as well. Really fine fibers, you kind of go a little bit everywhere. A right, bit for the belly. Big game doubling, thank you, Douglas. Big game doubling. Big gang dubbing, that's the one. It's quite nice, I like it. It's a nice dubbing, definitely. So, I'm going to bring it back. Push it back, press it down. I'm going to give it a brush after. I'm just going to add a wee touch of sparkle with the Angelina. Now if you want to put an eye, it's up to you. I don't think it's totally necessary, but if you want, you can put an eye on the top or on the top and the bottom. It's up to you entirely. I'm going to give that a, a quick brush. I'm going to see how much trimming we need to be to sort it out first. So now for the fibers, like I said, we we tie them. I'm going to open up the fly so you can see. We tie them so the shank is still showing. Kind of hard to show on the camera there, but on the shank here, you still have all, you can see the thread and the way the fibers are spread out. So what you can do is just pinch them and bring them together on the top. that you, you'll have something a little bit more bulky yeah just gonna see now if we need any trimming I like to trim just the front of the head and bring it down to the back and belly. Like I said, the tail, you shouldn't be touching it now. It's just a light trimming. Nothing too mad. Put it in eye. Hello, white man. Hi, Victor. How you doing, guys? We're just finishing the fly. 
but if you missed the beginning of the stream you can catch it up later it'd still be good to be watched anyway they are kept i put a little bit of just an idea just for making the fly look good There you go. Then all we have to do is put our put our rattle in there. And that's it. I'm just gonna secure that rattle again from the top. Because I don't like the way it's just spinning around once it's fishing anyway it's usually settles to where it should be let's set it properly so it stops moving that's it guys simple as little stealth fly with an added rattle yeah we better look at it this way so you have you still have a nice chunky body Nice thick body, long tail movement, and the added that rattle only if you want, like you know. But sometimes, especially if you want to fish, use them to fish close to the bottom. Uh, rattle is usually good bouncing on the bottom like that. It'll be hitting. That'll be the first thing hitting rocks. So usually that creates noise and. Uh, and uh, a little bit of vibration as well because it's kind of a uh, a little shock absorber when you hit the rocks it'll be the first thing to to hit so that's i like these little holders like yeah you buy 10 for for a dollar or something like that i think i got mine from uh, lure parts uh, in the states and uh, i usually do an order like that of weird things Sometimes I don't need the things I buy, uh, but in the future, sometimes you'll be tying and you go, oh, that's the missing bit and something that you might have bought a long time ago at the bottom of one of your box. And uh, the lure building uh, shops, I have to say, they have loads of little gizmos and little things to add on hooks and things like that. So it's kind of a nice thing to check once in a while. So thanks again guys joining for another one um, yeah next week I should be back for uh, another stream uh, we'll be doing yeah we'll be doing a few of those chicken flies <laughs> yeah I like them back to more natural materials less synthetic just a little bit flash and some rubber legs on this one. But lots of volume. Lots of volume. Fun fly. A little bit big for this time of the year. We're going to have to wait a little bit. A uh, few weeks till the temperatures start dropping. And then we'll be we'll be putting these, these bad boys out. Only one hook. 
I like to fish most of my flies with just one hook anyway. Bang in the middle. We will have a look at that in more details next week. All right, guys, if you have no questions, thanks for joining me. Uh, please do click on the like, share the video. It kind of helps. Uh, YouTube is a little bit difficult to get through uh, at times. Sometimes they, they share your video and you get one that goes a, a bit crazy and a lot of people watch. Uh, but uh, sometimes it needs a little bit of push from you guys. So much appreciated. Just click even just click the like button if you enjoyed the stream. If you didn't, sorry. <laughs> but uh, good to see you. Douglas, you are the best. Thank you very much for your donation. Much appreciated, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, white man, uh, yeah, bunny. Yeah, you can you can definitely make some some EP fibers from bunny crap, from the cords, from paracords as well, I think. I'm not too sure. Is it the same thing? I haven't tried. Um, I haven't tried. I just don't have the patience to untangle the bunny. Um, I should try it once, just to see. Just to see. But I'm happy with Congo. I've been dealing with Congo fibers for a long time now. And uh, I really like them. Really like them. Good price as well. Honest price. So, all right, guys. Thank you very much. Pleasure as always. And normally I'll see you next week. Keep an eye on Instagram. Um, I will be posting the stream when it comes on. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, pleasure again having you. Thanks for the, dona dona the donations. I can't speak anymore. And um, I'll see you next week. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.